So I wanted to do a prediction video of The Walking Dead 160, but I want to give a shout out to Mike. I'm hoping you're having so much fun at Comic Con New York. I know you're trying to get that Walking Dead Robert Kirkman meetup. So hopefully, you know you everything goes great. So shout out to you, Mike. So, but we're talking about The Walking Dead, and we're talking about the comic book uh, series. And right, 159 was a great, solid chapter. Some crazy ass shit happened. The death. Spoiler alert, of oh, Lucille. The death of Lucille was just mm, a hit more than Glenn, honestly. No, no, it didn't. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Lucille's gone. Negan barely had it and then beat the shit out of Betta and it's gone. It is gone. So what we have at the moment is basically everybody re kind of regrouping both sides. We have the Whispers kind of going back. We see the zombie horde going towards Dwight and his crew. But we see Dwight being able to take one of those sons of bitches, the Whispers, out and try on a new skin, so to speak. So he's trying do on to others what everybody else seems to be doing on to you, basically. And he's trying on the skin. And he, I, I'm assuming for 160, we're going to see Dwight infiltrate see where they're taking better see where they're at uh where their camp is i think it, this plan is going to work with him in the skin uh, of course better is hurt but yet he still has the strength to kill his own men so just keep that in mind uh negan i thought he got bit uh i was rest assured that it was his leather kept him safe still don't know how that would necessarily work if it's like a hard but, but whatever, uh, as long as Negan is safe, honestly, because Negan doesn't need to be dying right here and right now. So Negan it, was freaking out at the moment, and he could have, well, he kind of almost did let Dwight kind of die, honestly. Uh, Negan is still a guy where you just can't trust. You still cannot trust this guy. So I think they're going to go back to Rick's, uh, Rick's going to find out what happened. Rick is coming up with a battle plan uh eugene i feel i fear for eugene for some reason i fear for eugene a lot so i think something might come out of that but i think they're all gonna everybody's just gonna regroup at this point while dwight does his own kind of mission uh i hope dwight doesn't die but i did say that he was probably gonna die in, in this war i said that maybe rick or andrea was gonna die in this war so we'll see how that goes rick and andrea did get together right now so that's fine they were going over the map and everything the real interesting thing about 159 was the relationship between carl lydia and sophia now i bring up sophia because sophia did see how carl was acting how down he was so of course she's going to want to comfort her longtime friend and ex-boyfriend so there's gonna be some drama <laughs> there's gonna definitely be some drama lydia saying that listen I don't love you. I hope you know that. I'm just, you know, you're younger than me. Just, I don't know. If, I, we, the readers, don't know if this is because she's just saying this to keep Carl away because she wants him to be safe. She doesn't really want, he does. She wants him to not think. How, it's like Troy, right? That movie Troy doesn't want Helena. Doesn't want to be the fo the reason why they're going to war. And kind of Lydia is kind of the reason why. Well, not so to speak, sort of. Uh, but yeah, she doesn't want to be the Helena of this s pretty much upcoming events and this war. That could be the reason, or because she she could generally just not really have strong feelings about Carl. But I kind of doubt that. I mean, they've had s the intimate moments we've seen. It it really does feel. I don't want to say it's it's puppy love. It's definitely puppy love. But uh, she definitely deeply cares for Carl, and I think that is gonna s some sort of love. Um, so I think they have to grow as individuals more. Uh, same with uh, Sophia. But uh, Sophia's going to come in. Definitely going to try to cheer up Carl. I think Lydia... I think something's going to happen in that triangle, man. Something's going to happen. Carl, I think Carl is going to snap. I really feel like Carl's going to snap in some, some of these upcoming chapters. He's going to snap but when it, coming to 160 i think we're going to develop more of a little bit of something there uh, especially with him and sophia something's something's going to happen something is going to really kind of 
start really gaining momentum of the split of Carl and Lydia. And remember, Lydia doesn't know that her mother is dead yet. So once she finds out her mother is dead and Negan's the one, she might be, she might go back to the Whispers. And who knows? She she very well may go back to the Whispers. Um, she knows exactly what the Whispers are capable of. I don't know why they don't use her too much about like some formations or just get everything out of her about like what is the whispers all about like do they have this and this is there a backup plan other than the zombie horde so we'll see how that goes uh but i think 160 is not going to be too much of an eventful issue i think it's just going to be really kind of straightforward really just setting things up for the next issue if anything i think the ending of the issue will have dwight maybe make getting to the camp of the whispers or uh something happening between carl sophia and lydia i think that might happen and there's possibility of eugene eugene of course communicating to the other side so what is going on there but overall i think they're going to regroup and then there's going to be another wave of attack because we'll be what was this like five out of six or something like that war not five or six five out of ten or something like that of the war of the part war so it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be a very interesting of where everybody's gonna be at and how many deaths are gonna occur and of course you can't remember you got to remember the kingdom is on their way to help as well so that's very awesome that's cool uh, that's pretty awesome as well so is the whispers just it feels like they're good as much as they're a threat it feels like they might be wiped out pretty soon but then again it's the whispers and they are still dangerous so i'm down to make it down son i want to hear all your guys's theories on the next issue of 160 i mean i just throw them out there i'm not i'm so horrible <laughs> theories sometimes i hit them sometimes most of the time i miss them so uh, just throwing it out there and just what i feel like a, an author or a writer would probably do in while looking at you know reading all this material like this is what i would do so let's see if he'd do that somewhat similar kind of stuff but Better, of course, much better. So I'm down to make it down, son. Till next time, oh, The Walking Dead's almost here. Season of Negan, man. Season of Negan, that's what I'm calling it. Uh, so get ready for those Dead Walking Sunday reviews. Like the video if you like it. I do have the Fear of the Walking Dead reviews up, so if you want to check those out. And um, yeah, thank you guys for listening. And I'm down to make it down, son. Until next time, till we talk more The Walking Dead. See you guys later. Sophia!